Hello everyone, it's Yolanda here. Um, I have an ATC card that I want to share. Um, I am in a, I'm doing a swap with, <clears throat> excuse me, Marlene, who is for you, Marlene one here on YouTube, and um, I actually tried to join her June swap, but it was already full. Um, her monthly swap that she does, um, but she very graciously asked if I wanted to uh, go ahead and do a one-on-one -on -one with her. Anyhow, even though I had missed the um, the June group swap, so um, I was very happy, and um, I'm very glad to be sharing um, my little ATC card that I made for her. Um, it's uh, basically on a background. The little blue that you see at the top and the bottom is actually a Martha Stewart paint swatch and I used that uh, paint color swatch that you get from Home Depot wherever and I used that as the base and then on top of that I layered a piece of white cardstock that I stamped a background image and heat embossed um, that on there um, then um, I'll bring it a little closer so I can start at the top and kind of work my way down uh, I don't get stuck here now um, okay, so at the top here, um, what I did um, for the word timeless there, I just stamped out um, with individual letters the word timeless um, with some memento black tuxedo ink. And then I went around it with some vintage photo to give it a little aged look. Um, on the right hand side there, the little clock face is from an really, a, a, I've had it for a long time, the Brenda Walton Kane Company ephemera pack. And then around it, I used some uh, Say It In Crystals from uh, Prima, a little, a little circle here. And then I added a little uh, flat back pearl in the center. Um, going, uh, sorry, to the left here, this is a little uh, porcelain rose that I had in my stash. I added a little bit tucked behind here. It's actually this from a roll of tinsel that I had. I cut a little piece and tucked that back there. Um, let me see. In the center is just a lot of layers of some vintage laces that I had here in the center and then I put a little velvet ribbon around it. Um, then I added this uh, rhinestone buckle slider in the center there. Let me lift this up. And on top of that is a little bird from another, like a die cut. Of, I've had it for a long time, a die cut. Kane Company Susan Wingett um, bird. That's where I got that from. This is a little vintage button. Some pearls from my stash. Um, this collage word is from Cosmo Cricket. I put a little flower for my stash here with a little bit of snow tacks. It's a Tim Holtz wire pin. And I hung a one of his baubles, Tim Holtz baubles, from it, as well as a, tied a little piece of antique lace there. Um, over here I did the same thing as the top. I stamped out this word and uh, distressed it with vintage photo. It's all layered on top of this uh, rosette here. And this is a little Martha Stewart rhinestone and I think I pretty much got it all and so it is called um, Timeless Beauty and I made it in a collage style um, and that's basically it I am going to be sending this out to Marlene and I truly hope that she enjoys it I had an immense amount of fun making it Thanks for watching all. Bye.